breaking down all 25 things you missed from Survivor Season 46, Episode 7. We're talking all things, splitting into two different groups, Ben having a panic attack, Q trying to take all the power, the players going on reward, and much more. Careful for any spoilers if you haven't seen the episode yet, and make sure to stick around as we announce last week's giveaway winner. If you want to enter next week's giveaway, make sure to subscribe to the channel, like the video, and comment down below who you think's going to win Survivor 46. Let's get started with Number 25, Fake Merge. Honestly, there is a chance I'm overreacting. If you're new to the channel, often I overreact to every small detail on Survivor. But I'm really against this whole episode 6 and episode 7 situation. Last episode, we had the mergatory. The tribes are now officially merged together, only to split up into different groups this episode. So I don't care what anyone says, I don't care what Jeff Probst says, I'm simply calling this episode a tribe swap. Number 24, Return to Camp. After Mariah being voted out, the the group returns to camp super confused and by the group I mostly mean Venus as she is confused on who voted for her at the last tribal council. Ultimately Venus received a vote from Charlie it's just she doesn't know that yet leading into number 23 Soda versus Venus. I said it last week and I'll say it again I'm super glad Soda and Venus survived the last tribal council so we could have a little bit more of them here because I knew a battle was coming between them as Venus calls out Soda in front of everyone with Tevin picking up on it right away. Eventually, Venus does discover the truth, leading into number 22, Charlie voted Venus. I need to agree with Q as I really think it was a misplay by Charlie to tell Venus and tell everyone that he was the person that voted for her. When it comes down to it, I don't know any pros of doing this in front of everyone, but there are a few cons with Charlie now exposing himself and removing the easy vote. Number 21, we are all fans. If you're a Survivor super fan and it's your dream to play Survivor, you should seriously check out Idol Plays. There you can find all my replica Survivor puzzles and games with 13 different puzzles to choose from. I'm trying my best to keep up with demand, but you guys are killing it. So if you're interested in checking out any of the puzzles, I wouldn't wait and I would go now. And make sure to use the code SWAP20 to get 20% off your entire order. Idol Plays is my passion project that gives all of you a chance to experience replica Survivor puzzles and games, but it also helps Help support me in the channel. Remember the first 10 people to use the code SWAP20 get 20% off their entire order. Number 20, Ben and Shambles. First, it needs to be said we discover the random tribe name of Survivor 46 is Nunu -Nu, or however you pronounce it. But more importantly, Ben has a panic attack after waking up from a bad dream and it needs to be noted it will be important later in the episode Kenzie's the one that comes to Ben first. Fun fact, I don't know why I'm saying this, when I was little sometimes if I had a bad dream, I would wake up in a panic and run back and forth in the hallway. Number 19, challenge time. Be ready for it. We knew from a drone shot of the challenge there was two different colors. We're about to split into two different groups for this challenge. And the producers messed up as there was a promo showing the groups and an immunity winner leading into the episode. As the players need to balance on a platform with the last one standing wins. Whatever team lasts longer in the challenge, whatever team comes in first place is super important. As they get some food on reward, go to Tribal Council second. That's really important because the first person voted out at Tribal Council won't make the jury. Number 18, the groups. It needs to be noted that I think the immunity necklace this season is complete fire, as group one consists of Charlie, Maria, Venus, Tevin, Liz, and Soda. If you're paying attention, that means similar to last week, the purple three are still together, as group two consists of Ben, Tim, Hunter, Q, Kenzie, and Tiffany. Number 17, immunity challenge. We'll talk about it throughout the video, especially leading into Travel Council but I really like how interesting the dynamics were on both these groups. I guess they're really trying to fill 90 minute episodes as Jeff shouts out the crazy conditions of Survivor 42 and Q wanted to play a little game. And obviously we need to give a shout out to Jelinski the legend. The first boot of the season getting a shout out and the episode title with episode several. Unfortunately we know it is his final episode. He's gonna be getting voted out later in the video but it was really 
really nice to see Tim finally get some personality here. And Jeff decides to do something fun for the final portion of this challenge, having the players stand on one foot. Having Kenzie win for the orange group, but losing reward as Maria wins reward for her team and immunity for herself. Number 16, Jeff says apply. Just like how Jeff Probst is always asking you to apply to this amazing show, I need to say, I'm gonna ask you to subscribe to this amazing YouTube channel. If you aren't subscribed yet, please do so and help me pass Russell Hansen subscribers. My goal is to be the most subscribed to Russell in the Survivor community. And as a bonus, once we hit 10,000 subscribers, I'm gonna be making a dedicated video interviewing Russell Hans. Number 15, reward time. The group comes in seeing the reward and they're all freaking out about all the food that they get to eat. Personally, I would have just been freaking out about all the coffee I'd get to drink. At first glance, we have Charlie and Maria from Green and Tevin, Venus, Liz, and Soda from Orange, making it pretty obvious if you're not a fan of Survivor that Charlie's probably gonna be the one voted out. That's not the case. We know the Orange players don't trust each other at all, so one of them's gonna be the one voted out. Number 14, the losers. Obviously, the positive energy is not with this group as the person voted out here will not be making the journey. And much like the other group, at first glance, the vote's probably pretty obvious here. With Hunter on orange, Ben and Tim on green, and Q, Tiffany, and Kenzie on purple, you would think the obvious vote is Hunter. But future Survivor players, listen up. The easy option typically isn't always the best option, as the losers have to hang out on the old green camp. Number 13, Q strategy. Let me know in the comments down below your thoughts on Q purposely not trying in the challenge. Personally, I think it's fine for now, but, but with it only being episode 7, he is overplaying way too much. Number 12, Tim and Q. This conversation right here is why Tim was in trouble and ultimately the one voted out. As Q and Tim go and have a chat about who to send home, Tim throws out Hunter's name. Again, like I said earlier in the video, Hunter is the obvious name. But the issue is, Q is all in with the Cross Tribal Alliance. So I really think if Tim threw a Ben's name, he would have ultimately been fine. Which is it, Tim? Which game are you playing? The seagull game or the Q game? Well, buddy, you are going home tonight. Number 11, the winners. Charlie is starting to stress as everyone just wants to chill, but he's the obvious vote as he's in the minority and his partner has immunity. However, going into the episode, if you could bet on Survivor, I would bet on an orange player being one sent home. Soda thinks she's with Tevin to vote Venus, but hold on, Tevin wants to double cross Soda and work with list of vote Soda out. Number 10, poor Venus. Much like Owen in Survivor 43 or Jake in Survivor 45, I now I think Venus is the zero vote finalist this season. She just has the feeling of that player who's really trying to play Survivor but can never get anything going for them. Especially watching Venus's conversation with Maria. Number nine, Venus and Charlie. It's impressive how Venus starts the conversation with Charlie, especially with him voting for her last episode. This absolutely blew my mind. I knew it was unlikely we were gonna see it, but the possibility of a 3 2 1 to vote Tevin would have been crazy. Venus was trying to pull Charlie and Maria in to make a move, but ultimately Charlie and Maria are in the power position as Maria tries to coach Venus up. When you come at people, yeah, you come at them. How I come at you? Yeah, you came at me, and that puts me off. And okay. we get negative, just like when we were just down at the beach. Number eight, Maria and Charlie. It's become super obvious this is the power duo this season, and I would be shocked if both Maria and Charlie don't make the finale episode, as this vote is gonna be between Venus and Soda. Number seven, the losers plan. You can just tell the vote out, the planning on this tribe, the vibe is completely different because they're not gonna be making the jury. Like, sure, Tim has a point that Hunter is a big threat, but right now it's all about making a strong alliance. And it's a weird situation with Tim overplaying and Ben underplaying. 100%. Ben's smarter than he's letting on. He just doesn't want to raise his threat level right now. Number six, Kenzie and Ben. This random feeling alliance between Kenzie and Ben perfectly highlights why Survivor is so interesting. This was an alliance that was built strictly socially, 
just because they like each other. Ultimately, the people you like hanging out with on Survivor are gonna be the people you wanna keep in the game. Number five, the purple three. This is an obvious moment of Q overplaying with Tiffany and Kenzie. I have a feeling in the next several episodes that Kenzie and Tiffany are going to be turning on Q with either Tim or Ben being the plan with this group. Number four, Tribal Council one. Okay, I promise this is the last time I'm going to say this, but I hate the idea of the person voted out first not making the jury. Through all the fluff, the best part of this Tribal Council was Kenzie and Ben talking about the panic attack. However, I do really want to know how Ben knew the panic attack happened at 1 a.m. I don't know which other way to say it. Kenzie woke up at 1 a.m. to make sure I was doing okay. That was something human, which is very hard in this game. Number three, Tim voted out. I lied. This is the last time I'm going to be talking about it. Having the first person voted out, not making the jury sucks. Tim, I am sorry you didn't make the jury. Number two, Tribal Council two. Although Liz has a 0% chance to win Survivor, I do love the little amount of screen time we're getting from her. Small little things like talking about how she didn't even bring her bags to Tribal Council. Heading into the vote, I actually didn't know who was going to be going home leading into. Number one, Soda voted out. Soda's reaction to getting blindsided was top tier, and if you missed it, Venus took credit for what looks like Tevin's move. It was you, wasn't it? Yeah. It was you. <laughs> Anyways, congratulations, Emily. You're this week's puzzle giveaway winner. I'll announce a new winner next week and click right here for a top tier survivor video or click right here to check out the survivor fire puzzle.